Good evening guys. Today is 16th August 2018. This is Daily Current Affairs brought to you by Neo IAS. And our topics are Pink Bollworm, Parents Patry, it is a dog tribe, and E-Cigarette, also Govari tribe, and on map aided program we have Lombok Island and PQRS, that is Prelims Christian Revision Series. And the first topic is Pink Bollworm. Pink bollworm is nothing but a pest which infects the cotton plant. And this pest infects in cotton plant also in Bt cotton. Bt cotton is a variety of genetically modified variety of cotton plant. And in recent India recently the cultivation of Bt cotton have started not recently. And the Bt cotton is a main issue that affects the cotton industry. India is the only Bt cotton growing country which faces the threat of pink bollworm. We have two kinds of Bt cottons that is bold guard BG and also the bold guard to BG2. They have designed in the form that it will protect against the pink bollworm. But initial in the initial phase it has protected the cottons from the pink bollworm but recently the pink bollworm become resistant to the gene which protects the Bt cotton. So the pink bollworm has become resistant to the gene, thus it affects the production of the Bt cotton. So the state of Maharashtra and the Maharashtra government announced the emergency measures to tackle the widespread pink bollworm infestations in the state. This is why pink bollworm in recently news because the Maharashtra government has taken initiative in order to overcome the effect caused by the pink bollworm. And the next topic is parents patri. Parents patri. It is a doctrine. I will explain it later. Recently the Uttaragand High Court appointed itself as the legal guardian of cows in the state. Uttaragand High Court appointed itself as the legal guardian of cows in the state by invoking this doctrine that is parents patri doctrine. So what is parents patri doctrine? It is simply it is a Latin word which means parent of the country. So parents patri symbol means the parent of the country and it is a doctrine that grants the court inherent power to take as a guardian for those who are unable to take care of themselves. So if a person is unable to take care of himself then the court can issue or invoke this parents patriot doctrine and act can the court can act as a guardian to that particular person or particular thing or particular animal. This is parents patriot doctrine and why this Uttaragand High Court decided to act as a parents patriot of cows in the state because a PL was filed stating that stray cattle are being slaughtered in Uttaragand also the slaughtered waste are clogged in water bodies. We know that this is a very big health hazard. So that's why the court decided to act as a parents patri of the cows in the state of Uttaragand. So by acting as the parents patri of cows in the state, the court can take suomoto cognizance and issue directions to the state. So the court can issue directions to the state and also can take suomoto cognizance. And these are the directions issued by High Court, Uttaragand High Court to the state. All civic bodies in the state shall construct go shalas or go sadhans or shelters for the cows or stray cattle within one year. All civic bodies should construct go shalas within one year. And also no commercial charges should be levied for the electricity and water connection to these go shalas. No electricity and water connection charges should be levied from these goshalas which shall be constructed within one year by all civil bodies. And if a person abandons a cow or slaughters a, a cow or make harms to any cow, the person shall be prosecuted under Indian Penal Court and also Prevention of Cruelties to Animals Act 1960 and also Uttaragand Protection of Cow Progeny Act 2007. So if a, if a person abandons a cow, he shall be prosecuted under these ways. So he, there is no need to abandon a cow. He can consult the nearest civic body and can hand over the 
cow to that goshala also the court directed the state government to set up a special squad which is headed by a rank of a policeman or, a, or an officer of the rank deputy superintendent that is dysp and finally the court banned the slaughter of cows bulls bullocks calves in the state and the selling and buying of beef and beef products are prohibited in the state so this news is about parents patre in which the court take necessary action to for the protection of cows in the state of uttarakhand so the court act as the guardian of the cows in the state and the next news is about e cigarette e cigarette is nothing but battery operated device that emits the vaporized nicotine so instead of smoke producing cigarettes e cigarette produce vapors which contains nicotine and it simulates the feeling of tobacco smoking without producing the smoke no smoke is produced only vapor is produced but if a person uses this e cigarette he get the feel of tobacco smoking and they can be manufactured like tobacco cigarettes pens pencils you can see it here they can be manufactured in any form not not only in the conventional form of a cigarette it can be produced or manufactured in the form of a usb or pen or pencil in whichever form the user wanted at the discretion of the consumer it could contain the different quantities of nicotine so why e cigarette is in news because the recently delhi government is planning to ban e cigarette because we know that nicotine is a toxic material also there was an exhibition planned to conduct for the promotion of e cigarette which is called vape expo vape expo or vape expo which was planned to conduct for the promotion of e cigarette that that planned to be held in the new delhi but that program or ex exhibition or expo was also cancelled by the delhi government delhi government banned is planning to ban e cigarette and also it banned the vape expo it is an event for promoting e cigarettes this is about e cigarettes and our final news is gowari tribe recently the bombay high court issued scheduled tribe status to the gowari tribe or gon it can also be said as gon gowari tribe and now the gowari tribe is in scheduled tribe status but earlier they were in a special backward class category that is sbc category which acquires a quota of 2 percentage but in 2012 the central government notified them as obc that is other backward class they have been the gowari tribe have been demanding this reservation of scheduled tribe for more than 3 decades a protest was happened in 1991 in nagpur which which was conducted by 50000 persons of the gowari tribe and which leads to a stampede which killed 114 that is 114 people in 1991 a protest for the reservation killed 114 people in the particular stampede and now gowari tribe has got the scheduled tribe status and 50 lakh population or 15 lakh people of gowari are in india and majority of them lives in the state of maharashtra madhya pradesh and chatisgarh so every tribe in india is important so recently gowari tribe got, got scheduled tribe status so you need to focus on gowari tribe it may ask in the prelims question and our next session is map that is map aided program in map aided program we have lombok island lombok island it is an island of indonesia indonesia have a lot of islands like java sumatra bali lombok and it is one of the island in indonesia which name is lombok which is located near to bali you can see it here bali and lombok and it the mount ranchini it is a active volcano it is in the lombok island and a recent earthquake was happened in the lombok island two days back and the death toll raised almost to 500 people so a major earthquake was happened in lombok island and about 500 people were died this is why lombok island is in news but we have already covered this in the july current affairs and the lombok island is part of the pacific ring of fire pacific ring of fire is an idea in the geography you need to study what is pacific ring of fire and the today's assignment is to study pacific ring of fire so this is uh, 
Lombok Island. It is in an island of Indonesia neighboring to Bali. And the Mount Rancini is, is in Lombok Island, which is an active volcano. And recent earthquake is happened in Lombok Island. And in PQRS, this is a question from the 2016 prelims. We can look at the question. With reference to International Monetary and Financial Committee, IMFC, consider the following statements. First statement, IMFC discuss matters of concern affecting the global economy and advises International Monetary Fund on the directions of its work. Two, the World Bank participated as an observer in the IMFC meetings. Which of the statements given above or below are correct? A1, one only. B2 only, C both 1 and 2, D neither 1 nor 2. So, when we are coming to first statement, IMFC discuss matters of concern affecting the global economy and advises IMF on the directions of its work. This is right because the IMFC advises reports, advises and reports to the IMF governor's body or IMF board of governors on the matters related with the international monetary and financial system. So, the statement 1 is correct. In the case of statement 2, the World Bank participate as an observer in IMFC meeting. This is also right. A number of international organizations including World Bank also participate in the IM, IMFC's observer status or also participate as observers in the IMFC meeting. So both the options are right and the answer is C, both 1 and 2. So this is about PQRS and hope you have enjoyed the daily current affairs video. For getting more information and news, you can check the daily current affairs material which is provided in the description section. Thank you so much. Good night.